Who is the best shortstop in Chicago? It's been a hot button issue around the Windy City, and in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why newly acquired Dansby Swanson takes the title of best shortstop in Chicago. For being two of the historically loser franchises, the Cubs and Sox have a rich history of good shortstop play, including some of the best to ever play the position. This history includes players like Louis Aparicio, Ernie Banks, Luke Appling, Sean Dunstan, Alexei Ramirez, and Javi Baez. This history leads us right to 2023, where both the North and South Siders are led by their all-star shortstops, but that leads us to the question, who is the best shortstop in Chicago? The Cubbies signed Dansby Swanson this offseason to a seven-year, $177 million deal to anchor their infield and lock in the former number one overall pick as a franchise staple. He's coming off an all-star appearance and a gold glove last season and has received MVP votes in two of the last three seasons. On the other end of the city is Tim Anderson, who's been an all-star the last three seasons and even adding a batting title in 2019. Both sides have a case for having the best shortstop, but why am I so sure that Dansby's better? Well, reason number one is the fact that Dansby just stays healthy. Since the start of the 2020 season, Dansby has only missed two total games. We can compare that to Tim Anderson, who has missed 133 games over that span. Anderson has had issues with his hamstring and groin before missing 57 games last season after tearing a ligament in his hand on a check swing. Now I know that injuries shouldn't really be held against anyone because a lot of them is just bad luck, but as every corny high school coach has said before, the best ability is availability. The fact that Dansby is in there day in and day out really allows him to stand head and shoulders above his competition. Reason number two that Swanson should be crowned as the best shortstop in Chicago is that he is the better fielder. In 2022, Dansby won the National League Gold Glove Award at shortstop and led everyone at that position in outs above average. On the other hand, Anderson ranked 24th among shortstops in the same stat, finishing with a minus 2 OAA, 23 full runs behind Swanson. If you go by their defensive B-War last season, Swanson was worth two more wins than Anderson. That's the difference between the Phillies and the Brewers making the playoffs. One team made a World Series run, the other team watched it from home. Tim has leveled out his fielding after a horrendous 2017 season that ended with the All-Stars outs above average at negative 10, but that's not really good enough to top one of the best defensive shortstops in the game. The third and final reason that Dansby Swanson is the best shortstop in Chicago was that he just flat out has better hitting stats. Since 2020, Swanson has a better offensive war than Anderson, 9.2 to 8.7. Of course, you can point to the advantage that Swanson has in games played over that span, but Dansby is in the top three among all shortstops in hits, home runs, doubles, and RBIs. If you want to get down and dirty in the nerdy numbers, Swanson has the higher average exit velo, hard hit percentage, and barrel percentage. In 2022, Swanson finished with a career-high 4.7 offensive war, while Anderson finished with an offensive war of 2.1. That 2.1 is tied with the COVID season in 2020 as the second lowest of his career. However, Tim does have a higher expected batting average and is even in the 99th percentile in all of baseball in that stat. I will admit that Tim Anderson has a much better chance of winning the batting title this season than Dansby Swanson, but I will give the nod to Dansby due to having almost twice as many home runs and doubles in the last three seasons. I personally love the argument between Cubs and Sox fans. Both franchises franchises really do have a great argument for their guy and have for years. The two teams combined for three Hall of Famers and dozens of All-Star appearances from the position with plenty of fan favorites sprinkled in there. I can't wait to see what happens this season to take the argument to the next level. That's it guys, if you've made it this far please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment below who you think is the best shortstop in Chicago. Thank you for watching!